Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. In the previous videos, we discussed about IELTS academic writing task one and also some reading tasks. However, today we are going to specifically discuss IELTS listening and I'll be clearing some of the doubts that you might be having regarding numbers, dates, time or any currency when you're answering the questions. So now without any delay, let's start with the video. So we are going to start with the dates. So on the screen, you can see one format that is quite common while answering the question. However, it doesn't really matter what format has been mentioned in the listening. When you are hearing the speaker's talk, you just can write any format which I'll be showing you on the screen. So you need to believe this. I would say that because the source is totally the IDP website where I got this information from. So first of all, you can write the answers in these formats. You can, if the answer is June 20th, you can write 28th June. You can write 28th of June. Not only that, you can also, not only that, you can also use numerical forms to mention the answers. So here you can see that in the numbers, you are able to write the answers. If you, as long as your answer is right, no matter what format you use that you are seeing on the screen, you will be getting the one score for that, okay? One mark for that. Again, you can also write the short forms of the months in order to save the time. And those are going to be acceptable if you write them, okay? But your answer has to be right. One more, I will be doing one example in front of you and then we will also talk about an exception and where you need to be careful when you're writing down the dates. So let's do an example that you can see on the screen. Free refreshments, really? Yes, look here, Sunday, 17th of June. So you can see 17th of June is something that was mentioned in the listening. You can write any of these format. You can write June 17th, you can write 17th June, you can write 17th of the June, which was actually mentioned in the listening, and then you can write in the numerical forms as well, okay? So now let's move on to one exception that I was talking about, which is this one. Now, again, let's do an example. Keen now. How about the pianist on the 22nd of June? So here the answer was 22nd of June. Do not use TH here, okay? You need to pay attention to these details. Otherwise, you will be losing the score if you write. And uh, TH, if you write TH instead of writing ND here. Okay, now let's move on to currencies. So currencies that are commonly mentioned in IELTS listings are usually dollars and pounds. You can write them just like this dollars or pounds, or you can put the signs as well. And while writing the signs, you need to practice and be careful that you do not mix them up. If you write, let's say, dollars instead of writing or write uh, instead of putting the sign of a pound, it will be wrong. OK, so you need to make yourself familiar and be comfortable writing them. Also, one more thing I would like you to be careful when you're doing the listening. Sometimes these signs are already mentioned in your question itself. So be uh, careful about that and do pay attention to that also because in that scenario you will not have to put any symbol or you wouldn't have to write dollars or pounds okay and uh, these are examples that you can see on the screen because you you might write the answers let's say your question is saying two dollars fifty pound you can write them like this if your answer is saying two pound fifty you can write it like this and uh, for you I would also want you to do an example. But we can go to the Spanish dance and guitar concert together, can't we? Yes, I'm sure Tom and Kieran would enjoy that too. Good heavens, 10 pounds 50. So here you could see, or you can hear them talk and here you heard that 10 pounds 50. So you can write it like this, okay? You can write it in words as well. However, you have to pay attention to the attention to the instructions. If your answer is less than like, you can't write more than two words, go for digits, do not go for words, okay? Now, now let's discuss measurements. 
So centimeters, kilometers, and kilograms, these could also be the part of your listening questions. So here, when these kind of questions are there, you definitely can write it down the way they are mentioned here, or you can use these all variations. And those all these all variations are going to be acceptable. So you can write it as two centimeters in the form of words. You can write one word and a, a number, two centimeters, or you can just put two cm or two cms. And similar is the case if you write kilometers or kilograms. Lastly, let's discuss time. So here you could see 5 a.m. or 5 p.m. This is something that you need to pay attention when you're listening. And here they might mention morning, evening. According to that, you'll be using a.m. or p.m. Or you can also hear something like this. Sometimes they also mention the time like this. At that time, you need to make yourself familiar with these three formats that I'm going to just mention. It could be, let's say, the uh, you hear them talking and seeing. Let's say you hear quarter to six, quarter to one, two, three, anything, you will be writing like this. 45 is going to be there. And uh, I would want you to write in the format of digits. It would be much easier for you. And then quarter, pi, quarter past seven. Then lastly, 530 and this. Do, put, do pay attention to all of these details or everything when you're practicing. And I hope these cleared all your doubts regarding the number.